What's up guys? This is Damien with Hosh Online. Today we're taking a look at Facebook Home for the Nexus 4. No, it's not available for the Nexus 4, um, but there's an easy, very easy hack to be able to get it on any device, not just the Nexus 4, and I'll show you uh, later on in the video. So diving into Facebook Home, um, if you swipe the left, th this is not you know in an app, this is your home screen. Um, all of your Facebook feeds, uh, all the posts from your friends, that you are subscribed to or you know liking those are your main screen so if you like a post uh, you just want to double click on it you know give that thumbs up um, that little head on the bottom that's your profile picture uh, you can drag that up to go into your apps uh, to the right to go to the the last app that you're in to the left to go into Facebook Messenger now the pie controls that's not part of Facebook home that's a uh, paranoid Android running on my Nexus 4 so that is not something that you're gonna have if you download Facebook home um, you might wanna think about maybe rooting which I think you may have to have in order to be able to get this on any device but you definitely wanna have uh, the pie controls app but anyways, uh, getting back to uh, Facebook Home, uh, now you, if you uh, slide your face up, it'll take you to your app drawer. If you uh, s s hold down on an app, the same way you would place an app on your home screen on any Android device, and if you move it to the right, it will uh, create custom screens, uh, kind of like mini app drawers for uh, your app so there's a little bit of customization there not much but uh, a very small amount um, you can actually make a status uh, you know Facebook status from the uh, upper left hand corner um, if you're in an app and you go back out of that app uh, all you have to do is drag your uh, the little circle with your uh, Facebook profile picture in to the right and it'll take you back to the uh, last app that you were in and we'll demonstrate that right now just like that now if you uh, those the little head that's my beautiful wife uh, Nicole right there and that's uh, what we call they call a chat head uh, one of the most awesome names ever but uh, you can move the chat heads around if they're in the way uh, move them to the left right up and if you click on it, it takes you immediately into the conversation with that person on Facebook Messenger uh, looking at the options there's not many options in Facebook home uh, now you do have the option of uh, enabling the notifications panel you, are, you also have the option of uh, turning on the lock screen um, by default the lock screen is uh, disabled so you might want to pay attention to that even though um, I had that running for a while and I noticed that there wasn't a lot of you know things going on in my pocket uh, even with the lock screen um, not on now you can put it to sleep but it, there just won't be a lock screen once you hit that uh, that wake button you're bam you're right into Facebook home uh, now I saw a lot of people complaining about you know getting rid of your home screen now if you scroll in the app drawer all the way to the bottom where it says more uh, if you press on more voila it takes you back to your main uh, Android lock screen I'm um, not lock screen but your main Android home screen you know with everything you got your Google now you got your widgets you got everything so if you take that more app uh, or widget icon whatever and move it to the right to make a you know a custom drawer for it you have easy access to uh, pretty much making it you know like a toggle to go from Facebook home to your regular uh, Android uh, device overall I, I, I kind of like Facebook home uh, I'm not sure how long I'll rock with Facebook home but um, for, for the time being I'm gonna use it um, I don't feel like it really takes anything away from Android because I still have everything there. Uh, another quick tip: if you hold down on the uh, st the message, uh, your uh, Facebook message, then it will show uh, the background picture uh, without the message on. You know, the overlaid, and you can move the the chat heads away by dragging them all the way to the bottom to get rid of them. Kind of the same way you would do a widget on any uh, Android uh, home screen. So yeah, guys. Um, definitely check Facebook home out um, it's great if you are a, uh, a lady or you know a mom uh, teenagers uh, if you're a really social person and you use Facebook home Facebook a lot in general you'll love the Facebook home app I'm pretty sure you will um, it's got a lot of things going for it um, I think the best feature is the chat heads uh, but you know that's available for any uh, phone as long as you download the latest version of Facebook messenger Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't say peace uh, just yet.
I still got to show you guys how to install Facebook Home on any device. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to the App Store, I'm sorry, the Play Store, and download, I'm getting all my Apple and Android stuff mixed up now. Uh, you want to go to the Play Store, download an app called Build Prop Editor. Um, you can also do it from an app called ROM Toolbox. Uh, once you have um, your Build Prop open, you want to scroll all the way down to where it says, and let me make sure, uh, Manufacturer and Model. And you're going to change the uh, manufacturer from HTC to Samsung and model to SPH-L900. Now I leave all that in the description so you can kind of look for yourself. Uh, most importantly though, before you do any of this, you want to make sure that you create a backup of your build prop. That way if anything goes bad or if you ever want to just revert back to what um, you had before, you can just easily you know, click on uh, the, the previous state and just kind of go from there. Uh, so you definitely don't want to do a backup. But yeah, you're just going to change it from the manufacturer to Samsung, all lowercase and then a model SPH L900 with a dash in between. Um, that's going to make the device, uh, well, Facebook Home think that you're a, actually a Samsung Galaxy Note 2 on Sprint. Um, then I'll also place a link to the Facebook Home APK. Uh, once you do all those uh, modifications to your build prop, you want to re reboot your device and then um, go ahead and install Facebook Home, that APK, and you're in business. It's going to take you through the whole setup. So once again, guys, this has been Damien. Quick look at Facebook Home. I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.